Hey guys, what's going on? So today Apple just released iOS 11.2.5 to the general public. So this is no longer in beta. Uh, this was one of the longer beta cycles we had uh, for a very small dot update from Apple. So we do have 11.2.2 and then it jumps to 11.2.5. So we don't know where 11.2.3 and 0.4 is, uh, but this is very Apple-like, uh, kind of a, a weird iOS release, uh, an odd number and uh, a pretty, uh, non-significant update today. So it just says it includes support for the HomePod and it allows uh, Siri to read the news uh, only in US, UK, and Australia. So here in Canada, we kind of feel left out because we don't really get any of the new features and even uh, we don't even have the news application uh, in Canada. It's been on iPhone since I think iOS 10 or iOS 9 and we still don't even have the news application. So in Canada, we kind of feel left out. We don't get all these new features like Siri reading the news to you, uh, which you now get in some countries. Uh, but really iOS 11.2.5 is just preparing people for the HomePod. Uh, Apple actually just announced today that the HomePod will be available in February and you can actually pre-order it starting on Friday. So yeah, you can go on the Apple Store 1201 uh, Pacific Time and pre-order your HomePod, which is pretty cool. And 11.2.5 uh, just prepares your iPhone uh, for the HomePod. Don't really know what it means. It just says it includes support for the HomePod. So I guess it includes the new connectivity tools uh, that your iPhone will use to connect to the, the new smart speaker. So uh, really nothing new to report here on iOS 11. It's still pretty stable. Usually when uh, iOS releases get to around the 0.1 and 0.2 marks, uh, the release and the software is pretty stable. Uh, no stuttering, nothing wrong here. Uh, it's a very smooth and stable operating system. No glitches, no bugs. Uh, obviously the next thing that we are waiting for now is iOS 11.3 uh, to come out, which hopefully we'll be seeing a beta for uh, maybe next week on Monday or Tuesday because now that iOS 11.2.5 is out of beta, Apple can now re uh, release another beta, which hopefully will be iOS 11.3, which hopefully will bring iMessages in iCloud. So if you missed my video about iMessage in iCloud, I'll link that down below. I just released it recently. Uh, anyway guys, tell me what you think about iOS 11.2.5. Do you have it installed on your device? Uh, if you notice anything different, tell me in the comments below. Other than that, it's out now. You can go ahead and download it on your device that is capable of running iOS 11. My name is Mike. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.